I am joined by Virginia Congressman Scott Rigel, Republican, representing the largest military district in the nation. Representative Rigel serves on the House Armed Services and the House Budget Committees. Congressman, welcome to Taking Stock. It's a pleasure to have you here. Well, thank you, Alex. I'm delighted to be with you today. Now, I know that you voted uh, to fund the government through September, that continuing resolution that we saw today. What do you think are going to be the fresh ideas that we get out of both parties to reach some kind of substantive budget uh, agreement? Well, I'm delighted that the House uh, passed the budget today. It's a real step forward. and. And I really don't see it as the beginning of a fight. Um, it's, I'm a businessman in a season of public service, and I see it as a good faith offer from the mm -hmm. House to the United States Senate. And uh, I'm hopeful that they're going to pass their budget, and then we'll sit down and we'll compare the two. And uh, I'm going to start out by looking for common ground. Instead of saying, mm -hmm. what do we not agree on, I want to look for what do we agree on and try to advance those things. Now, look, I know it's going to be difficult, but uh, that's the best path to, to getting a good agreement. And where do you think that there might be some common ground? I mean, when we, we did hear Congressman well, Paul Ryan say that both parties are just miles apart, right? Well, um, well I had the privilege to sit down with the president a couple of weeks ago and have a, a real substantive discussion about all of this. And he said, Scott, look, I'm, I'm for change CPI. And he said, my mm -hmm. Democratic uh, friends in the House and the Senate uh, don't really uh, uh, support that, but I'll push for it as part of a comprehensive agreement. And I appreciated that uh, that offer by the president. So you know, I heard in your previous segment uh, that we think his interest in this is real, mm -hmm. and I'm going to you know go forward based on that assumption. That's one area. Uh, he's talked about the need to address entitlement reform. Right. Our program does that. Our budget does that. And. Unfortunately, at this point, I really am not seeing that on our, our, from our Democratic friends. They really need to step up and help us on that side. And under what circumstances, though, Representative, would you consider raising more revenue? What would you have to see? Well, that's really an interesting question, considering my journey. I was uh, one of just a handful of Republicans that in the fall was making an empirical, data-driven case that revenues needed to come up a bit not only through growing our economy, which we all support, but also through tax reform. And the president was calling for a balanced approach. So, you know, I kind of looked out of my peripheral vision. There he's calling for a balanced approach. I'm out on shows like this trying to help my, my Republican colleagues get there just a little bit on revenue. Well, what were we presented with uh, December 31st and January the 1st? January the 1st, a, a bill was brought to the floor that did nothing to address spending and it, it raised revenue $600 billion over 10 years. Mm -hmm. I voted no for that and, and, and gave a spirited speech on the House floor that day because of it. I wish that our president, my president, would have said that day, wait a minute, I told you I want a two-to-one reduction. And he emphasized that when I met with him. He said, mm -hmm. Scott, I'm, I'm all for a two-to-one reduction. Well, there should have been a full stop right there. And he should have required, you know, mm -hmm. 1.2 trillion in cuts. Well, uh, Congressman, though, when you're looking at tax reform, because you used to be a business owner, or, or you still are, right? A, a car I dealership, still, right? I, 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 so, that's, uh, uh, yeah, a couple. Mm -hmm. What is the impact then on tax reform for smaller businesses, and how can we mitigate those risks? Well, I think that reducing the overall complexity is a big start to that. I'm an advocate for basically capping deductions at a reasonable amount. And here's why. It's just, it's what's practical. If we start piecemealing each and every single deduction, loophole, tax credit, however you want to describe it, this, these halls are going to be filled with people who are going to say, look, uh, you know, loopholes are bad, but this isn't mm -hmm. a loophole. This one's really needed. And so I think from a practical standpoint, I'm an advocate for capping deductions, and, and there's just a simplicity about that that right. is very attractive to me. All right, let's take a broader look here at National Security Congressman, because you represent the district with the highest concentration of men and women in uniform in any congressional district. What is the biggest threat to our national security as you see it? North Korea? Is it Iraq? Is it another mm. force we're not looking at, like maybe Venezuela even? Well, let's start out first with what Chairman uh, Mullen said, former chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff. He said it was our, our, our deficit and our fiscal trajectory, so we must keep that in mind. But let me get back to the points that you just mentioned there. Look, a, a nuclear Iran, I think, is our principal uh, threat. Mm -hmm. But what's happening in North Korea, 
this is just deeply troubling. He's an erratic young man. We're not even sure, you know, where he is in terms of his just overall stability. Uh, but you know, pivoting back over to to the Middle East, uh, a, a nuclear armed Iran is completely unacceptable. It's not only uh, a threat to to our strong ally Israel, but it is in America's best interest to not allow uh, Iran to obtain a nuclear weapon. Uh, they've said. Ahmadinejad said, look, we'd take our, uh, Israel out if we could. And mm -hmm. we, need to, we need to take him at his at face value at that. All right, Representative Rigel of Virginia, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time with us today.